era begins again. What is up, YouTubers? John's The Challenge is here, and welcome back to more of the Pokemon Random Gym Challenge. And, uh, I did look over uh, what I did last time because I completely forgot what happened last time. But, uh, I believe we beat Blan- I, I only looked a bit at the end, and we are on Giovanni. I did lose my first- or, to the second match against a Poliwrath, so that was that. That was pretty much at the end, so, yeah. We are on Giovanni now, apparently, so that's- that's all right, so... Yeah, um, the rest- We might lose a lot of times here, and then also in the Elite Four, because, well... Yeah. <laughs> Especially since it's all random, too. So, we're starting off here because um, I had to reselect the random Pokemon that we'll have for this next one. So, uh, yeah. I already have the uh, number generator up and running up to 150. Um, and if I get. And since I only have up to Dragonite pretty much available, I don't have Mew or Mewtwo unlocked or whatever. I don't even know how you properly unlock them. I should look that up, but. I don't know. Anyways, um, but yeah, if I get 150, that will be the your choice option, which I think I've already cleared up before. So then I can like pick whatever Pokemon I want to have on the team. So uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, let's uh, get going. So we'll generate. Gen. I think that said 33 first. It said 33 and then 15. I'll accept that, though. 33 and 15, so... That's near the beginning. 33 and 15. 23. Where's 33? Oh my god, really? Need a Reno? I mean, it's a, it's a middle stage Pokemon, so I guess it's fine. And then 15... Mm, I had a feeling it was Beedrill. Well, okay, that's not a great start. <laughs> okay, next up is number 118. Please be a good mon. I'm pretty sure that might be past Chansey, maybe? Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, God, this team's not looking very really good. Not at all. Um, generate 130, so we still have to go down a bit. Okay, that's a, that's an alright one. Um, I mean, it's a good mon, but I'm just thinking because of the moves. Hydro Pump doesn't have the best accuracy. Dragon Rage is normally like a 40 damaged move, and Takedown has Recoil. The only other good move would probably be Leer, because then I can lower the defense, but yeah. Still not really the best team here. <laughs> Even with Gyarados. Um, trying to keep my thing on my lap. Okay, anyways. 57. So we're going back up. Oh, so that would be Primeape. Okay, Seismic Toss, Low Kick, Mega Kick, and Screech. I think Screech lowers defense too, so... Okay, not bad. Uh, and finally we're gonna add... Uh, I'm pretty sure that's pretty much Gyarados, so we have to re-roll. Uh, so three... Uh, 300 and... Three... 137, okay. So I have to find Gyarados and count to seven. So one, two, three, four, five... Six, seven. You couldn't have been one lower. I mean, I don't know how good Porygon is. I, I mean, in this... I mean, in this kind of generation, it's the only evolution. But I don't know if Porygon would, be, would have been good in the first one. He does have Recover and Psychic, so that could be okay. But still. Yeah, that's me setting up the team as well. Uh, yeah, quit. Anyway, I'm gonna delete some registrations because, um, we're actually almost out of registration, so I'm gonna start deleting some. Uh, sorry, oh, we have already had a Porygon on the team before, too, so. 
interesting. Alright, let's just delete a couple sets, and then we'll move on. Because honestly, I feel like I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna need the space. Probably won't delete everything, but I'm just gonna delete some. I'll delete like this one and one more for now. That way I at least have five more spaces. There we go. I only have that out so I can s select them without, like if I do move on. Alrighty. I was able to be Trainer Rocket before, but tr a Trainer Lab Man was uh, not good because of um, his Polyrath. I don't even know if we're going to make it past the other one. Um, yeah, I don't really, I don't know about this squad, honestly, but we'll try our best. Ah, yes, the Flaming Moltres. Okay. Um, okay. Uh... I don't think there's really any risk for having Gyarados out, so I guess I'll put him out. Um, fortunately, Primate definitely has a big disadvantage as well. A uh, couple flying types, so maybe Porygon might be helpful. So that... Um, Check. Let's check out Beedrill again. Twin Needle, Mega Drain, so no poison type moves at all. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, but you have Ice Beam, which would be kind of handy. Plus, you kind of resist a couple poison moves. Um, I have to go with Nina Reno, honestly. <laughs> It's the only thing I can think of, really. Okay, we have... Persian to start off. Um... You know what? I'm probably gonna switch Pokemon to start off. Yeah, I'm probably gonna go into Porygon. I want to save Gyarados for Moltres because I feel like uh, he's gonna bring out Moltres. So I want I want to keep Gyarados for later. Oh, and good move I did. Good move I did. Honestly, Gyarados would have died to that. Gyarados would have a hundred percent died to that. Okay. Um, it still didn't do too much to me. So if I need to, well. I don't know if you're... You're probably faster than me. Eh, we'll try a Psychic, and then maybe if I can, maybe I'll try to get him to recover. Body Slam. You're faster. I think I'll be good to do a recover. Uh, I do 40 damage. This might take a while. Well, I mean, if I die anyways, <laughs> if I do die anyways from a body slam, then it wouldn't matter if I chose psychic or recover, so I'm just going to go for the recover. Okay, didn't die there. Hopefully recover does not enough. Oh yes, it does a lot more than expected. Nice. So I can recover a few times and then use psychic again once in a while. And just keep letting this happen. There we go. Once I'm like pretty much up to full health again, then I'll use uh, Psychic. Yep. So when I'm when I'm close to full health again, I will use Psychic and just kind of do it that sort of way, and then heal myself kind of close to full again. Uh, maybe one more. Because I think if I'm at least over, like... Yeah, okay, so I would have been fine to use Psychic there, but, yeah. I'm just saying, because... Yeah. Alright, I should be good for Psychic now. And then I'll heal up again. We 
go. I might be good to do a double psych. Well, maybe not. Okay, I don't know if that would have helped anyways. <laughs> um, I'll just do a recover just to be safe. Because you are going to use Body Slam again. Yeah, I think if I did win for Psychic again the next turn, I would have been done for. So, definitely, definitely good moves with uh, choosing with Recover. So, I think another Recover and then Psychic again? I think that's probably the best option I can do. Yeah, would have been able to survive the next one, but, you know. Recover. Recover is so broken in, in games as well. Alright, you use Body Slam again. I'll let you have that, that's fine. And then I'll heal myself again afterwards. It'd be nice if this crits. Yeah, it didn't crit, but it was still good enough. Okay. I don't know what the next Pokemon's gonna be like. Oh, Parasect. Hmm. Should I do a recover and see what it does? The thing is, I know he's gonna do some sort of like spore move, so I think I should at least get some damage off. Because I don't think he's much of a attacking one, and plus I am I am faster apparently, so... Oh damn, that still didn't do a lot. Yeesh. Well, okay, I think I know what I can do this turn now, since he's using Solar Beam. I'll just use Recover, get my HP up a bit while he's charging. And there we go. And I should be able to survive whatever Solar Beam does. Yeah, see? Plenty. Be nice if you could do Solar Beam again. <laughs> oh man, I'm not, um, let's try try uh, attack. I've been using Psychic a lot, and maybe this might do a bit more. Oh yeah, did, I, that actually looked like it did more, so. Growth, ooh. Yee, that's not good. Well, I mean... If anything, he's probably going to use Solar Beam again, which honestly, I feel like I could take him out in two turns anyway, so... Hey, why don't you aim for Solar Beam? Oh, he's... Oh, God. That may not be good. Oh, no, I can still get him. We're fine. Trial attack. Alright, Porygon's coming through. Alright, and we'll see if it has Moltres as well, which I still have Gyarados, who's fully health as well. Oh no, we have Golbat, okay. I have no idea if you're quick or not. I'm just going to try to go off with a Psychic. Uh oh. Uh, okay, I probably won't survive another hit, but at least getting off that Psychic would help. Probably should have recovered, but... Okay, handy. He's pretty close to death now, so that's good. Um... Yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to recover, so... Or have the chance to recover, so... I'll just attack, whatever. Porygon's finally down. You still did good, Porygon. You still did good. Okay, so we got Gyarados and Nidorino. Um, I'm gonna probably save Gyarados for now. I mean, I know I'm not going up against Moltres, which thank God I'm not. <laughs> but um, I think I'll just go to Nidorino, maybe try to get off the Ice Beam. Try to get as much damage as I can down. He'll probably still use Double Edge again, which I don't know if that will kill me. Oh no, Nina Arena, is tanky. And then with Ice Beam, we should at least get him pretty close down. I don't know if this will one-shot him from here, but... 
Yeah, okay, KO'd him. Nice. And now we have to try to face off against that Polyrath again. <laughs> uh, we're already 15 minutes into this episode, too. Alright, Porygon useful, though. Porygon useful. I wouldn't recommend using him against uh, Polyrath, though, because Polyrath is a fighting type, so... Alrighty. Lab Man! Yeah, he has quite a bit of fighting types. Gyarados would be helpful. Um, just trying to see what else he has. Fero. Yeah, so my own fighting type and normal type wouldn't do good. Uh, thing is, that Gyarados is also an alright mod to use. It's just against Magneton. That that freaking electric steel type. I really have nothing for that. And then there's other fighting types. There's also a water type as well. Water rock type, which... Hmm. I guess I would still be effective, but it would also be effective against Gyarados. Man, Gyarados is even at risk. Hmm. Damn, I really don't know what to do here. Everyone's pretty much at risk. The only ones I can not, honestly not see much of risk is, um... Nidorino and Beedrill, and yet yeah, I wouldn't recommend using them all the time. Uh, I might lose here, so I'll, I'm probably just going to go with Beedrill, Nidorino, and Gyarados. Because at least I can survive against the Polyrath and the Hitmonchan with that. Okay, Beedrill. Yeah, look at it. It's Polyrath. It's this motherfucker again. Alrighty, what can I do? Um, I don't know how good his special defense is. Um, I'll try maybe focus energy. I don't know what focus energy does. Shit, maybe I should have checked that out. Um, I know it raises some step. I'm not sure. Actually, you know what am I doing? Mega Drain. It's a fucking water type. Okay, but that was also with a crit. That still not. Oh, right. I forgot he had psychic. <laughs> What's also funny is I saw the part where I was listing off the moves. It's like, okay, wait. He has hydro pump, double team, psychic, and something else. Another crit. Okay, at least I'm getting him pretty down. I'm fucked this time, but. Yeah, there goes, there goes Beedrill. Uh, let's see, you also know Hydro Pump. You don't know a fighting type move. Uh, might as well bring out Gyarados. If only you're lower than 40, I could take you out with freaking Dragon Rage, but I can't. Uh, I think I have to go with Takedown. It's the only thing I feel like would actually do damage. Because I don't think Hydro Pump would, because we're both water types. But this is also risky. Damn it! Well, at least I can use Dragon Rage next turn. Okay, I didn't even do that much. Oh no, wait, what am I doing? You're a ah. Oh wait, no, it didn't do much. Hello? I'm a flying type too, what the hell? Oh, whatever, Dragon Rage, and you're dead. Yeah, Dragon Rage is normally a guaranteed 40, which, you know, <laughs> would be helpful in some cases, so. Well, if anything, we've made it further than we have before. We are, and... You know what's funny? I feel like you have an Electric-type move. Um... Go Nidorino! <laughs> watch, it's gonna use Thunder. It's 100% gonna use Thunder. Just watch, just watch. It's gonna use Thunder. It's gonna use Thunder. I'm gonna read the switch. 
I mean, it's not thunder, but I, I called it was going to be an electric type move. I called it was going to be an electric type move. Uh, Nidorino might be faster. Um, I'm going to go with Horn Drill. I wonder, I think Horn Drill is a one hit KO move. It is. Um, I don't know if I want to keep going for that. He's still using Thunderbolt. I'll probably survive two more turns. Um, do I want to try and use Ice Beam? You know what? Ice Beam. Yeah. We need to get some damage off of him. And I, it's not. And I can't really heal either. <gasps> oh, this is good. This is very, very good. I think it'll affect it very much. I've never really seen a Pokemon in this, like in this game thaw out. So we might have at least taken out Licky, uh, Lickitung. And he's not switching either, so... I think we might have just won this battle. Somehow. Oh, this is excellent. This is excellent. Nierino, let's go! I just have to hope the next Pokemon's not that bad. Yeah. Honestly, in this game, I, I've never seen the uh, Frozen... Of, I've never seen a Pokemon thaw out from being iced. So... But that, that was so helpful. That freeze was so helpful. I was like, do I try to keep going for Horn Drill and one shot in it? Or just keep doing as much damage as I can? Alrighty. Nice. We're actually playing this really good. Okay, not the best. I think Ice Beam might do something, but I'm not sure if I would survive. Or should I go with Toxic? I mean, that would help. It's just... Hmm. What do we do here? Each other down. Because I feel like in this game... Would Ice be good against him? For, like, at least... Like, if it's just a pure rock type. I mean, I know he's not a pure rock type, but I've learned from experience that even if you have something that takes damage, it still does super effective damage against that other type, which is really confusing to me. Um, I think I'll go Toxic. May not even matter. Yeah, it didn't matter. <laughs> I'm just sitting there thinking, Toxic or Ice Beam? Hmm, which one should I do? And then, like, he just kills me anyways, and I don't even get a chance to attack. Alrighty, 1v1. If he has a Rock-type move, I might be fucked. But I think with my Hydro Pump, I might be able to take him down. If I can land it, that's the thing. Okay, I go first too, so that's handy. Fuck! Okay, he went for Slash. No, no, no. Mm, Gyarados, I really need you to land Hydro Pump. I really need you to land Hydro Pump here. Come on. Come on. Okay. Uh, no! Well, fuck. We still haven't even beaten this guy. We got better than the last time, we, but we haven't been able to beat this guy. If I would've... Okay, if I did get off that other hydro pump, I could've won. I could've won. Also, wait, we, we ran a speed tie, I just realized. Or no, wait, no, never mind. <laughs> uh, or if the Hydro Pump would have done a little bit more past, like, 
Well, actually, no. Never mind. I would have immediately got the first one off. Alrighty. Um. Yeah, I think we need it. Was it quit or? I can't remember what I needed to do to exit. Um, well, we need to go to registration anyways and register a new team because this team failed, unfortunately. <laughs> it looked like it, the team was looking pretty good, though. Honestly, like, even near the end. Porygon was doing good. I haven't even used Primeape or Goldeen, but, you know, I have to re-enter my phone. Might have enough time for at least one more battle, but anyways. <laughs> um, I, should probably, I should probably also change the max number that it's at right now, so it can at least... There we go. Just had to put a higher number on it, so it would just go to any of the numbers, so. Gonna generate, so we're at 84 to start off. It's such a mix and match because you can either get a all right mon or something meh. Oh, you son of a bitch! I mean, you could probably set up a reflect, but I really don't think we're gonna use Don't Duo much. Okay, next fifty. Okay, what's the fiftieth mon? Sixty-one. 52. Oh, you bastard. Stop giving me freaking starter evolutions. <laughs> oh, that's a baby mine. I mean, it's it's cool to have Charmander, but oh, man. I would have preferred, like, number six, like Charizard. Ugh. Oh, all we're getting is baby mines. Are you kidding me? 107. Please be something good. Please be something good. That should be before Chansey. I know Chansey's like 112. I know that much. So, ah, here we go. Finally. Thunder Punch, Ice Punch. Okay, there we go. Um, I might still have to deal with some flying types later down the road, which is scary, but... 124. 120, 123, we got Jinx, okay, not bad, uh, um, Ice Psychic, not, not bad, okay, <laughs> it's like the second half literally just gonna be a good team, oh, it's two, oh, Magmar, <laughs> nice, okay, I was wondering if it was actually gonna change, but no, okay, Alright, so the bottom half is probably what we're going to be using the most. <laughs> probably not going to be using Doduo, Diglett, or Charmander. We're probably just going to stick with him on Chan, Jinx, and Magmar. Uh, no continue. Alright, so I think we'll uh, at least have enough... Oops. Too far. Might at least have enough time for one uh, battle in uh, Giovanni's gym. But yeah, and then we'll probably get to Lab Man next episode. Uh, yeah, I feel like a lot of these, like the next couple of episodes, are just going to be repeating battles. But hey, you get to see a bunch of other Pokemon fight them, so... That's just, that's just the part of the challenge. This is probably one of the hardest challenges I've probably put up for myself. And I forgot about the Moltres. <laughs> well, that's kind of bad. Um, Crap. I think probably the safest one to probably go into is Magmar to start off, and then we can add the other two. Yeah, like, literally my options are just those three. I can't really pick the other three. Okay, we'll start with, with uh, Persian again. Okay, you're probably going to go first, but I'm going to try to get the Confuse Ray off first. Yeah, we're going for Body Slam. Eee, why do you have to do that? Okay, nice. Confused. Get confused! Not to help it stays confused. Um. 
Hmm, Smokescreen would be a good one to use too, but I should probably start getting some damage off. Bubble Beam? Why didn't you use that before? Asshole! And you're not expecting other moves, well, at least you're still confused, so... Well, this is already not going well. But we're gonna have to redo another... <coughs> Excuse me. Gonna have to set up another team. At least I have a fine type move to use. Oh, come on! Magmar didn't even die in vain. I mean, he went... Actually, he did go down in vain. He died for nothing. He died for nothing. Well... At least that happened. Please, no Moltres. Please, I beg you. Literally, both the mons I have are literally weak to freaking... Okay. And I'm actually still good against uh, Parasect as well. Because I have Ice Punch, so that might be helpful. It's also funny that Himachan knows Thunder Punch and Ice Punch, and then Magmar knows Fire Punch as well. It still didn't do much. Mm, I don't know how much Solar Beam is going to do to me. I don't really have anything to protect myself either. I say I'm going to take the hit, and then let Jinx do the rest if that's possible. I don't like this, I don't like this. Survive, 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 survive. Damn it. Well, this battle's going worse. Alright, Jinx, it's up to you. And if Moltres comes out, we're probably fucked. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's still Ice Punch. Um, yeah, I'm probably just going to go with Ice Punch. More like an Ice Slap. Alright. Anyone? Anyone? Have Golbat. You had Golbat out last time. Please have Golbat, not Moltres. Thank you. I appreciate you, game. <laughs> Alright, there's still a chance. Um, I can literally hit him with Psychic and whatnot. Uh, I wish I could check the stats. But I can't, that's the problem. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, battle, I guess. Um, hmm, I'm gonna say Jinx is... I mean, you also know Thrash, so maybe your physical's more... I didn't look at the stats, but... I don't know, maybe your physical's more better than your deep... or special. Well, I mean, I did most of the damage. Now, let's hope we got lucky like Persian did, and not hit ourselves at all. No! Come on, game! You gave the luck to Persian, why didn't you give it to Jinx? Um... Mm, no, I won't be able to let him. I can't let him uh, keep getting those double edges, unfortunately. There we go. Jinx pulled through and we made it through. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. I like how we've literally entered two uh, teams into this episode. Alrighty. But with that, we're already 34 minutes into this episode, and in the next episode we'll be facing off against Lab Man, and hopefully we might be able to win against him. I don't know, because we have a fire type, and I know Polyrath's definitely a bitch, so that might be something. But we also have Jinx, which might also help us out in the long run as well. But we'll have to wait and find out. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys like this video, press like button or subscribe to whatever. And I'll see you dudes in the next challenge. See you dudes next time.